When I first started my first class, whenever I would run into a challenge that was difficult for me to try to figure out how to overcome, I had to look into different resources. Uh, usually fellow teachers, uh, my, my manager, my, my boss at the school, who is also a teacher, I was able to uh, consult with them. Uh, there were online discussion boards I discovered where uh, teachers would actually discuss some of the problems that they ran into or how to set up a class. Uh, also along those lines is that I took a lot of online classes myself and I tried to remember what worked for me, what, what was a distractor and did not help me learn, and what was actually used in the course that did help me learn. And then by going through those myself, I, I knew what worked for me, but I know that not everyone learns the same way I do. So I have to try to remember that. And that's one of the insights that a lot of people don't realize is that everyone learns in a different way. Some people are more visual, some people are more hands-on, and it's really difficult to try to figure out what works for the whole classroom, especially when you have 20 or 30 students. Having access to materials and reference uh, materials for teaching classes, things that would help me organize and structure my classroom would have been very beneficial. If not for any other reason, that I spent so much time doing the research myself that I really felt that that took time away from my students. So being an industry professional who got into teaching, the advantage to that is that I can share real world experiences of how the material is being used out in the job place. And so when I was spending all this time trying to do the research and trying to learn how to create my class, I, that was valuable time I, I did not have to spend with my students and, and to share this extra level of, of material that would probably be beneficial for them with material to learn it. Uh, one of the problems that a lot of students have, and it's a question that comes up a lot in my classrooms, is, well, how is this material going to help me when I get my degree? So it, it's something that the students really need to have, especially those that can't look long term. If you're in a four year curriculum, often taking five years, it, that's a long time to go without a reward, without getting some sort of tangible item that's going to help you out. So you need to have direction. You need to have some means to understand fully that this material is valuable. It is material that you will probably end up using once you get your degree.